like a kid in a candy shop. Look, a knife. We're going to be doing some unboxing. It's program, program, <laughs> program number 20. It's going to be a great show this Friday morning. All these boxes. There's still more to come. They haven't all arrived. All of you wonderful people who've made this possible. And of course, my patrons. But listen, we've got an intro to roll. So five, four, three, one, zero, all engine running. Two, four, cut. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. Liftoff and the clock has started. Four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. Get up, get up, get up, uh, get good up. morning. Bokertov, good morning, good morning world. It's me, Rory Alec. Whether you're in India, right across Asia, it's time to dust the sleep out the eyes, and it's time to wake up and shine. Casting from the heart of Europe, it's me here in Austria. To you guys out there. A big God bless you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's time to celebrate! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. That's right, Jesus is alive, he's on the throne. And he loves you this morning. The chickens are up, the rooster's crowing. It's time for Good Morning World. Good morning, world. Me, Rory Alec. Great to be with you this morning, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to be with you on this Friday. I am like a kid in a candy shop waiting to get this knife and get some unbo unboxing done. But despair not. While unboxing might not be your most favorite thing, and you may not feel so enthusiastic this Friday. I will be encouraging you, I hope. At least that's our, our spiritual endeavor. Spirit, soul, and body is to bring encouragement to you guys, our viewers across the world. Maybe these glasses. I can hear my wife talking to me. No, green ones. Yeah, oh, that. Not good. What about these ones? How will this work on Friday, fr fr Friday morning? <laughs> <laughs> ah, 24 days time, can you believe it? We soft launched the beginning of this month, April, 20 shows, this one included, number 20, under the belt. Thank you, Jesus. It's been a joy, a privilege. Wipe my top lip because I can feel I'm sweating. And the imaginary invisible makeup artist is saying, Rory, you've got some moisture on your top lip. Who knows, one day, by God's grace, Good Morning World may be a breakfast show that has not only one makeup artist, but a few, because we'll have guests in a very big studio with lots of people watching from all over the world, three hours every single weekday morning, broadcasting from New... Uh, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself, all right. I can feel all my, my Good Morning Show fans and viewers in the UK saying, Oi, mate, steady on, steady. <laughs> it is the final show of April. I am delighted, thrilled, exhausted, and amazed that I'm sitting here on this Friday morning with you guys, morning, noon, or night, whenever you're choosing to watch. It has been the soft launch month, and um, on the 24th of May, Monday the 24th of May, it is the hard launch. And by hard launch, my hope and dream and vision and plan, and with the help of all of these boxes out the room and equipment and goodies inside these boxes, all set up here, up and running and functioning, we should have an exciting live streaming experience every weekday morning. So what's happening next week? Well, I'll share that a little later on in the program. But first, what is coming up on this program number 20 of Good Morning World this Friday morning, the 30th of April? Lots. We start unboxing, as I've said. New equipment for this little mustard seed studio. We celebrate your birthday if you're one of my Facebook friends on the show today, or you've reached out to me and said, Hey, Rory, this is my birthday. Put me on the list. I want a shout out on Good Morning, <laughs> on Good Morning World. 
We visit world famous apricot orchards in the Wachau region of Austria. That's right, on today's show we go back in time and I share from my heart with you guys on how I have been learning to live a much more balanced life after being in extreme challenging, wonderful vision life, ministry life for the last 25 years. Um, also, the invitation is ready to be emailed to you for the vision casting, the Zoom vision meet on the 10th, Monday the 10th of May, uh, which is obviously just 14 days before we launch the hard launch of Good Morning World. It's all coming up on this morning's Good Morning World. This is the big announcement, so make sure you don't miss it. There is no Good Morning World on Monday morning or Tuesday morning next week or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. I feel that with 20 Good Morning Worlds under the belt, the soft launch, the proof of concept, the meeting you guys on the program every single day, and, I, and I'm encouraged that I have become, too many of you, a part of your daily routine, which is my privilege. Um, I'm going to take a break for the next week and prepare, build, get the studio pulled down and re-put together again, and hopefully we have everything prepared for the vision sharing on the 10th of May. Monday, 7 p.m. Uh, in the evening, I will be doing a Zoom vision cast, and I really hope you're going to be there. Um, if you check on my Facebook page, if you check... Uh, in the description below, there are a link. I will try and put links into where you can register and you can join me on the Vision Casting. If you've sent me an email to this email address here, we'll make sure that we send a link to you. And of course, all my patrons, you'll automatically get a link. And those of you who are part of the 155 on my closed Facebook group for Spirit Soul Body Vlog, I'll also send you guys the link. So the link will be coming out and watch... Um, and if you want to, by the way, please, if you know of anyone, your friends, family who love um, Good Morning World or have enjoyed Rory Alec and my ministry in the past and would like to catch up and find out what's going on, we will have a wonderful intimate time together on Monday the 10th as I share the vision for Good Morning World. So I really hope you're going to join me on that. I'm excited about it. I really am. And um, looking forward to hanging out with you guys for some precious moments. Good morning, morning, morning. It's super casual today. I'm in my actual grinding canvas. I have a kind of a uniform on Daily Grind. I wear a green canvas or a, a kind of a cream canvas. Do my grinding. Of course, that's during the, the autumn, winter, spring months. And then when summer comes, it just it's straight to t-shirts. It just gets too hot. Um, I'm preparing myself for this coming summer because I am in the upper room here. There's literally just a attic, a roof, and then it's the heat outside when it does decide to finally grace us <laughs> here in the heart of Europe. But um, so I'm wearing, I'm super casual today because we're going to be unboxing all of this stuff here, ladies and gentlemen, which I'm so excited about. But yesterday, what a drama with Good Morning World. I don't know if you caught my post. Maybe some of you were missing. Good Morning World didn't happen on Thursday morning. It was supposed to 7 o'clock. It was supposed to... Bah, it'll be... And um, I woke up at 6 o'clock on Thursday morning to get ready for this morning's program. <laughs> a very first time ever. A notice from YouTube saying... Blocked. Your channel's fine but your program is blocked. And I thought, oh my goodness me. And of course, if you haven't watched yesterday's program, I put in a couple of trailers, um, just sharing about the Genesis movie, Genesis Lost Paradise Part One. Now I know it's been around for a couple of years. Great project. When I saw it in my spirit, it, I, in my spirit leapt and I felt, yeah, this is something I want to really put in Good Morning, Euro uh, Good Morning World's program yesterday, Good Morning Europe. Blast from the past there. And, um, so I, I spent all the energy preparing and putting it all together. No doubt you've seen yesterday's program now because finally, thank God, they decided it's fine. They took out the beginning trailer, left the one in the middle of the program. I have no idea why. And you'd think um, Matter Entertainment, a little quick message and shout out to you. Firstly, thanks for creating great promos. 
But really, if you're going to make trailers, let people like us who create programs using all sorts of other bits and pieces, allow us to be able to take them and put it in our show so we can promote for you. Matter Entertainment. It matters that you don't copyright those aspects of, of your trailers. Anyway, uh, a miracle happened around midday after I had re-edited the program, re-rendered it and was uploading it. I suddenly saw that they've decided now to lift the copyright. So as of today, the 30th of April, I think yesterday's program is still playing on YouTube. Uh, let me know if you know otherwise, but I already got some confirmation from some of my patrons that it was fine. It was also playing on my patron page. So that was the drama yesterday. <laughs> Today is super casual. As I said, I'm in my casuals here. I've got my knife, but first, you got it. It's birthday time. <laughs> I love to wish you guys a happy birthday. And on this 30th of April, I just want to wish you, Louise Wynne Jones, a very happy birthday to your sister. The Lord bless you. Stephanie Weir, happy birthday. David Carpenter, the Lord bless you, sir, on this day. Wendy Marsh, Chu Hawa Stovall, happy birthday. Chun Hawa, I hope I've said that correctly, Chun Hawa. And Judy Harmon, a very young Judy Harmon there. Happy birthday for this Friday, the 30th of April. I've got a feeling it's got to be a grandmother. <laughs> Judy, I don't know how many grandkids you have, but that's really cute. And the reason I have this feeling is because I have the same... I know, guys, don't, don't bounce me down now, but I'm feeling quite broody for grandkids. So, uh, to the sons and the daughter, come on, guys, get it together. Let's have it. Let <sighs> more and more of my peers around me and family members are having grandkids. Lots of them. <laughs> anyway, Judy, I hope that your grandkids spoil you rotten. I have no doubt they put life, light, and a great joy in your heart. And then James R. Schrader. Happy birthday, dear James. The Lord bless you on this day. And moving on to Italo Frigoli. Italo, did you see yesterday's program? Dr. Max made a delicious chicken, and I was introduced to the stinkiest Italian cheese. No disrespect. It was delicious. Delicious, I know. Nose, uh, taste. Uh, <laughs> Italo Frigolo or Frigoli, I hope you have a wonderful birthday, sir, on this day. Clive Jackson, the Lord bless you on this Friday. Finishing up these birthdays for this Friday, the 30th of April, Steve Hobby, the Lord bless you, sir, on this day. Coming up the break, it's time for the knife. And we're gonna. Before I get to the break, by the way, do you know why I keep saying coming up after the break? because we're going to have adverts on this show in the future. Yes, and you go, oh no, Rory, not ever. Yeah, yeah, we've got to pay our way. We're going to have sponsors, we're going to have adverts. They're all going to be here on this wonderful Good Morning World show. But, fear not, I'm also planning, and you'll hear all about this on the 10th of May, the Vision, Zoom Vision cast. I'll be sharing about how you guys, starting with my patrons who are already going to get it free, We'll be able to download an app for Good Morning World and all the other programs that we make will be on there and you'll pay a monthly subscription and have no adverts. So, coming up after the break. Good Morning World. Ta -da! I cannot believe this is all happening. I am so excited. I tell you something. To re-envision this whole studio, and I'm not sure if this camera is going to be in focus. I hope it is, because it's expecting me to be here. And by the way, my brave heart taunt goes with me wherever I go. Love Scotland. My great, 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 great. I know you guys from Scotland hear this all the time. But my great, 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 great granddaddy left Ayrshire, Scotland. And the family tale goes with a keg of whiskey on his shoulder. And went all the way off to Africa, to Rhodesia which is now commonly known as Zimbabwe. And that's where he started, and that's where I, my grandfather arrived, and that's where my father was born in Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. And yours truly was born in South Africa. So yes, that twang on the tongue. If you're from down under, no, it's not Australia. I love Australia, but no, it's not Australian for you Americans. All of my friends in America sometimes think, are you from Australia? South Africa, that's where this 
flesh was composed out of the dust of the African dirt. So, he waxes lyrical on this Friday. I feel like I've got nothing to rush me. I'm, I'm feeling relaxed, <laughs> super casual, but I need to get on with it. What is in this box, ladies and gentlemen? I've never done an unboxing before, but it's quite exciting. Now, the thing is, this is a critical piece of equipment, and I can see why they throw things on the floor. They just toss things around, you know, like, like they rip the box and throw the thing up and down and everything else. But this, 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 <laughs> this has been a great blessing to me. This iMac here has served me faithfully, but it is so slow. Imagine what five years, five years of computers progress. This is the smallest Mac, the Mac Mini with the M1 chip. I am so excited. This guy is actually streets ahead of that guy. As long as he's got enough RAM, and I bought one with 16 gigabytes of RAM, this is going to let me get going to actually be able to live stream, to be able to edit much more efficiently, uh, render. Oh my goodness me, this computer, this computer takes, can you, this computer to render one 30 minute program, this computer took um, one and a half to two hours to render. This little guy does it in 15 to 18 minutes. <gasps> Redeeming time, thank you Jesus. Oh, I'm excited about this. I got all these wonderful things here, look at this. And then this is very important, this is the docking unit. Now this allows me to connect a whole bunch of stuff to that. Without that, this is critical. So I can connect all of my hard drives. And by the way, some of you guys who are sound fundies, when you hear the sound in the studio, it doesn't sound too good. It's because we've got this guy in the back here who next week when I'm not doing Good Morning World, this will be repositioned and it'll be placed out of ears way and then I'll be able to connect it with this docking system. Of course that's very exciting. Now moving right along. Sound wise to add to this I have needed a little mixer because at the moment I only have one way to get into that computer there and that, that is through this lapel mic here on my chest and this lapel mic basically um, goes through the camera. So I've got a recorder up here and you can see that basically the receiver there catches the lapel mic and it brings the system onto the chip on the card which then comes into the back of the computer. I then put it in the computer and bring it up in here. And so all of that is extremely, extremely analog. But this now is going to lie on the desk here. Pop it over there. I'm not going to open that because you can see what it is. It's going to lie on the desk there and it's going to basically make life much better. Thank you, Lord. Actually, it feels, it feels really good. They do this, you see? Just throw the box away. I like it. Now, a practical thing here, ladies and gentlemen. When all of this gets going here, we're going to be able to put that underneath the table. So that's going to come underneath this desk here. I'm going to add that over there somewhere like that. We'll leave that on the floor there. Oh, you heard that one. I'm not going to throw everything. Then we've got lots of little parcels like this. I have no idea what that is. Let's open it up. Let's see what it is. Rip it open. See. Oh, I like it. It's simple things like this. It makes life tidy. This is a round thing of Velcro. <laughs> With that, I can keep all of my cables together, keep everything tidy. So that's wonderful. Place it over there. We have another one of these. Ah, let's open this one up. Don't run away from me now. Make another cup of tea. This might take a while. Ah, now this is very important. Okay. Another one of those. Feel quite good at that. It's Christmas time. <laughs> I'm going to continue unboxing these things. But while I do this, I'm going to encourage you guys rips the box open. I'm going to take the next few minutes in a beautiful orchard. <laughs> in a very famous... <laughs> in the very famous part of the... I hope I'm in, I hope I'm in focus. Um, 
I know you want to see what's in there. Look, 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 there's something's in there. Something's in there. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, oh look at that. It's a microphone on a stand. That means no more lapel mic. No more one of these. I'll be able to put that somewhere over here on the desk. You did that so ceremoniously. Pop that guy over there. I know I'm giving you a little bit of this. Look at this. This will come up on the desk like this. The arm will come in, in, in. And I'm like, hello. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm excited about this. I am. I'm excited about this. I don't even know if I'm, I've lost my knife now. Lost my knife. So next, I want to talk about balance. As he wrestles with this box. Oh dear. Oh, look at that. That. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? That allows this camera to connect directly into this new computer. And that allows me with this new computer to live stream on, um, I can then just live stream straight, this plug straight into the computer and you get an excellent camera quality that'll come through um, Ecamm and Ecamm will allow me to vision mix with all of the different things, including bringing guests in and including bringing your comments and all of that in through this computer, through this little connector that allows me to. That's wonderful, that's come. And what is this? This is exciting. I have no idea what this is. I know I'm trying to intro the next VT and I'm getting excited myself here by <laughs> the, un the unboxing. This is, this is fair. Oh, it is here. What are they talking about? It's arrived. I've been waiting. I thought this hadn't arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very nice, important, fundamental key situation. Look at this. This is my fancy new mouse mat. Goes here, move the glasses, move the this, move the that, pop it there, mm -hmm. and there, and there. Oh, it, doesn't it look great? I mean, look at it, it's already shaping up. We're already building. We're coming together on that. I love it, absolutely love it. Can you see that? Look how nice that looks, that looks fabulous. And it's starting to look schnazzy. And that there is my little stream deck. These magic buttons allow me just to hit one button. Boom, there it goes. It's wonderful, wonderful. There's some more here. Another one of those. Look at this. Look at this, I'm excited about this. Well, this cable goes from the camera into this box, which then goes into that box, which then goes into, the, which then catches this, which then sends it all the way back to you guys, wherever. It, I know, I'm so technical, it's, it's frightening. I know, it's frightening. Uh, rip it open. I like it. Now I understand why Casey Neistat does this. Yeah! I got some headphones. These are true wireless pods that go in the ear. Now you probably can't see that because it's all out of focus. So I'll grab that. And that means that I will be able to interview Whoever comes in on the show, box in box, see you here, see you here, talk to each other. I'll have these in my ears discreetly without having to have those big things on my head. I don't mind the big things on my head, but I prefer these. These are going to be fantastic. Good morning, morning, morning. In fact, why don't we quickly jump to a VT now? I was in the most beautiful part of Austria. It's called the Wachau. It has the donor, the, the, the Donau or the river Danube running right through this valley that runs for about 35 kilometers. Super famous, world famous, in fact. Not only for its excellent white wines, but even more famous for its apricots. That's right. We'll be making apricot jam later on this year for sure. But right now I want to go back a couple of years as the Lord has been healing me in my soul. I want to share a little bit amongst these stunning blossoms. I want to share about balance. Balance life between the spirit, the soul, and the body. And then come back. I've got to finish unboxing.
a beautiful, beautiful day in the Wachau. Wow. Welcome to spring. And literally the whole of Austria pretty much comes out for this. This is that time in the year, it's generally the last weekend of March, first weekend of April, give or take, that nature puts on a magnificent display of apricot blossoms. Of course, I live in an area here in Austria where it's famous for its wines, its white wines, and its apricot production. And um, I'm talking about the Wachau. And it's magnificent. We nestle here in this valley that stretches for about 35 kilometers. Uh, it's got the Danube River flowing straight through, which is just wonderful. And I'm just grateful to the Lord. It's just a magnificent place to actually to live. And I, just on this vlog today, I think I couldn't resist um, talking a little bit about, you know, the apricot blossoms. I mean, many of you guys watched our previous vlogs. Uh, there were a couple of them where we, where Carol and I were making our own homemade apricot jam. Well, of course, we get our apricots from these amazing trees here, and we make this fantastic jam. And you know, in all my years of broadcasting, 20 years of Christian television, etc., etc., I never took the time just to rest, to, to, to have a bit of a Shabbat, and um, do something simple like pick your own apricots and make your own apricot jam. And it's just, it's something that adds a richness to life. I don't know how to explain it other than it's, it's healing for the soul. And on Spirit Soul Body Vlog, my goal uh, in these vlogs is to share a little bit of my, my week, a piece of my life, so to speak. And that's what Spirit Soul Body Vlog basically is all about. Rory is a spirit, he has a soul and he lives in a body. And uh, one thing I do know is that over the last 20 plus years of working in, in, in Christian television and in broadcasting, I really have spent way too much energy on vision, imbalanced with not enough energy on me. And I don't want to sound like I'm being selfish in the sense that if you and I don't look after our bodies, if we don't take care of our souls and only focus on our spirit man, there are going to be consequences is no matter how strong you are by the spirit, if you don't also take some care on what you eat and how you look after your body, you're gonna, you're gonna have problems, you're gonna have challenges. And I think one thing that I never really did is I never took time just to get to nature, just to enjoy the Heavenly Father's creation. And what a creation, I mean, just look at these. This is magnificent. Now I know man's got involved and uh, you can see that here in the Wachau, there's plenty of these amazing apricot trees. But still, it's designed by the Lord. Just as I say, firstly, take care of yourself, spirit, soul, and body. Yes, spirit first. It's an ongoing process between mind and spirit. Mind and spirit. In other words, you, you regenerate in your spirit, but it's also our minds that cause a lot of challenge. We have to renew our minds regularly. And the thing that I did the least of was take care of this body. And so, um, in fact, I can give you guys a bit of a bird's view. See the guys flying up there. And when I look at these blossoms, I'm just reminded, I think, wow, that is like this vision that I'm carrying inside of me. Where one day, spirit soul body will grow from one vlog a week to maybe three. And, um, and the studio that's just this little room in my, in my house, this basement that we fixed up and painted. Who knows what it can, who knows? God knows. I don't really know. I can envision and I can step out on an idea by faith. But one thing I can say is that this nature that is so beautifully created in which I find myself, this amazing world we live in, for sure no evolution, for sure by creative design. We have a wonderful creator who has designed everything to work with time. And I want to encourage you on this vlog. I know for a fact, give or take, that these blossoms are going to be pollinated by an incredibly hard-working insect called the bee. And not just the bee, many insects, but mainly 
bees will come in and they will do their business and they will pollinate these amazing blossoms. And the next thing is, after a period of time, we're going to have apricots. And again, after a period of time, those apricots are going to ripen. And the next thing we know is we've got ourselves a delicious fruit. In other words, today I'm seeing life on these trees. But for the last three, four months, there's been nothing on them. No leaves, no nothing. They've looked dead. Sometimes life can look dead. And then the blossom comes. And when the blossom comes, oh my goodness me, now we have promise. Now we can see something. And then there's many dynamics that take place to make this little blossom fruitful for this tree to be fully seeded. And then in time we will have our apricots. And after we have our apricots, we will then have our apricot jam. And of course, yours truly will be a very happy man. <laughs> I love apricot jam. It's one of my favorite jams. And so I want to encourage you as you as you have your own visions, as you, as you have your own dreams, you're going to go through phases. There's going to be a season where it looks dead. And then you're going to start to see a season where blossoms appear and you're going to get excited. You're going to say, oh my goodness me, I'm seeing blossoms. Be encouraged because you know in due course, if you're faithful, if you look after these trees, if you water them, if you give them what they need, if you protect them, if you nourish them, if you take care of them, they're going to bear fruit. Your ideas, your visions, my idea, my visions are going to bear fruit. And by the way, not all visions are God's visions. There are many visions that man come about with. And if he's faithful to look after that, that vision bears fruit. It's an interesting phenomenon. And some visions are not good visions. Some visions don't benefit one and some visions don't benefit many. But nevertheless, if somebody cultivates an idea, cultivates a vision, looks after it, these blossoms will bear fruit and you will have a fruit whether it's good or bad you will have a fruit I think I just leave you with that thought process and I leave me with that thought process that Rory be encouraged everything God has planned for you will come to pass as you're faithful as you're diligent and as you wait on him and boy I can really get cracking and I can get very busy in life this I know is one of my strengths but it is also one of my weaknesses if it's not under the reign and direction of my Creator. Um, wait on the Lord. Psalm 27. Courage, you take a look at it this week. He will strengthen you when you wait on Him. He will give you clear direction when you wait on Him. And He'll become an active partner in what you're doing. He'll make sure that you tackle and go in the right direction. In, in the things that he would like you to do. So, uh, it's wonderful to be here. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for being part of this extraordinary adventure. I'm starting again. I'm 50 something. Yeah, I'm going to lose a little weight. I know that. I've got to get myself in shape. I've got to get ready, just like these trees are getting ready, as these blossoms are, are making the world look spectacular. You and I have to get ready for this new exciting season in our lives. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what position you are today. You have a future. You have a purpose. I know because I'm walking, I'm living, I'm breathing. As a divorced Christian, happily remarried, pressing into God, not perfect, learning so much about myself, learning so much about Him, and again, reevaluating things that I should have perhaps done in my past, mistakes that have been made, looking at them carefully without condemnation, and learning from them so that as I step into the future under grace, under his guidance, under his direction, I continue to grow into my eternal future and the purposes that he has. Love you guys. Wonderful. And hey, watch out for future vlogs because we, Carola and I, will be making some wonderful apricot jam. Good morning world. What? I don't know what we, I don't know what we have here. Aha, uh -huh, it looks interesting. Even I'm getting surprised by what we have here. Oh, I love it. I love it. I got two of these. This is so that you can actually mount this to the back of this desk here. You can put in different units for sound, you can put in 
cable management, the whole shebang. So it's just all part of keeping everything ordered and tidy. Don't fall off, stay right there. And here it is. It's my microphone. My mic. This is gonna improve the sound quality amazingly. This is a sure SM7B microphone. These two guys are gonna to come together. It's all gonna be looking great. By the time you guys see the hard launch of Good Morning World. By the way, I said early in the program, next week, no Good Morning World. I'll be doing all of the behind the scenes. I will be tidying up all of this mess next week, building with all of these new toys. These wonderful, in fact, toys is a completely wrong word. Yes, it's here. My goodness me, my dear. That. It's gonna make my life much, much easier. Get ready for some continual eye contact. This is a teleprompter. In fact, in my over 7,000 hours that I've been in front as a broadcaster of the camera presenting, not many of those hours I have used the teleprompter. Sometimes for sure, specifically on massive productions when we've had thousands of people at the event. Oh my goodness. The heaviest box of them all. I have no idea what's in here. I have no idea. See, I told you this would be a casual. What is that? This is a stand. Okay, and then we wrap up. We're we're with. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, rules. Let me just show you guys what what I'm looking at. Yeah, look at this. This has to be lovingly built. But we have run out of time on this day. I wanna bless you guys. I'm gonna finish off by signing off here on this good morning world. I pray you have a wonderful Shabbat tomorrow. I won't be here next week. Please remember if you haven't registered, register for the vision casting on Monday evening, the 10th of May. And I hope to be back on Monday, the 10th of May, also with another normal week of Good Morning World. However, I might not be, but I'll keep you posted with some behind the scenes. There'll be some Good Morning World behind the scenes. It'll pop up on YouTube and pop up on Facebook, and I'll send it out to you, my patrons, and keep you guys appraised on how the bill goes next week, the week after. But for sure, by God's grace and my firm determination, I will be here on the 24th of May. Monday morning, loud and proud by his grace, with a gentle heart, full of enthusiasm and joy, and looking forward to being an encouragement as you encourage me too. Till then, ciao ciao. Love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little bell notification at the bottom. Every time we post something, you'll be getting it. To all my patrons, thank you so much for your support, guys, without you. Until tomorrow morning, lots of love, keep smiling, keep shining. From me, Rory Alec. Welcome home. Get up, get up. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Good morning, morning, morning.